This is the Machine MK3. And for those of you who have watched my channel before, you'll know that it's the primary way I like to make beats. But what if I also told you it was the reason that I switched from Logic Pro X, which is the DAW that I had worked in for five plus years and switch to this DAW that no one really uses. For those of you who don't know what this logo is, this is my DAW. It's called Machine 2.0. And like in the name, it's the DAW that's controlled by machine hardware. You can use it as a VST as well. And for a long time, what I would do is I'd load up an instance of Machine 2 inside Logic and use it there. And that worked for a bit until one day I decided to finally make the full transfer to Machine 2. And now the only thing I really use Logic for is recording guitar and recording vocals. But a lot of you might be asking why. And well, I'm gonna give you three reasons and show you examples using the Machine MK3 of why I made the full switch to making my beats and loops in the Machine 2.0 software. First reason why I really love Machine 2 is because of how fast it speeds up my workflow. For example, all my contact instruments are in here. So I can easily go to my instruments, find the instrument I want, in this case it's exhale, then scroll through the sounds. <laughs> Go to keyboard mode. Easily record these sounds by clicking shift, record. Then if I want a new sound, I just click the B pad here. Then I can do the same thing. Go to browser, look for a new instrument. In this case, I want sublab. Load it in. Go to keyboard mode. Shift, record. If I want to add drums, I just click C. We'll click browser again, but this time we'll go to groups. I can find a group I like, machine. Scroll through here. Altoid kit. I can use the note repeat. Shift, record. Kick and snare. So that isn't the craziest beat I've ever made or anything, but I just laid down that Vox, the 808, and all those drums in just over three minutes. So, you could say it definitely speeds up my workflow. Another thing I love about Machine 2.0 is that it's super loop based. So you see these groups here, like group A, group B, and the Altoid kit, and you see that there's different patterns here. Let's say I don't just wanna stick with pattern one, I wanna add something different. So I can click pattern two here, and now we can record something different, so. And now, if we want to put it down into a beat, we can click this area here. We can choose which clip we want to insert. So we'll put down the one we just did. And now we'll insert clip pattern one for this one, pattern two. And then we'll duplicate these two so they line up. And now, if you look at this, we have this beat here. Let's say that was just the intro and we want to go back to the box that we originally put down. What we can do is just click here and we'll click pattern one. We can duplicate these. Now, when we start back from the beginning, So I find it super easy to put things down and super easy to get inspired. The third and last reason I love using Machine 2.0 so much is because of how easy it is to sample things. For example, I just dragged in this piece of audio. Now let's say I wanna sample it. What I can do is click on sampling here. And now what we can do is edit it, drag out all the piece we don't need. Now when I click, Now, 
Now we can click apply. Now we only have the piece that we want. Perfect. That's the exact piece we want. We did that in a matter of seconds. Now, if we want to make even more cuts, what we can do is go with slice. It says down here that 112.5 is the tempo. So we'll change that up here. Now, if we want to make even more slices, what we can do is go to slice here and then click shift record. Now what we can do is click. We can just play through the slices. And it makes it super easy to sample things. So those are my three main reasons why I use Machine MK3. And I know you can do all that stuff in Logic, but I love the fact that I can use this tactile groove box to make my beats. And that is honestly the main reason why I switched. Let me know in the comments if you use Machine 2.0, if there's any DAWs that you feel are underrepresented and you'd want me to do a video on them, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. See you next vid.